Okay, let's see if um, I can't make this work here. I'll show you the uh, docking. So the iPhone kind of docks in at the bottom and pivots in. There's this piece that goes up and down. I kind of push the phone down, slide it back, and now it's locked in there. So to load up the app, there's GTAR. This is the most recent version, and I'm sorry, things are going to look upside down. I might, might be able to flip the video before I post it, so this screen is right side up for you. And uh, I don't know how bad glare is going to be because of the window that I'm at right now. But you can see the uh, G on the GTAR is red until we push the power button over here. We'll select it. The GTAR will turn on. You can see the frets, uh, the LED frets light up as it loads. G's blue, so now it's actually ready to play. I can uh, quickly go to replay so you can kind of hear some noise. Um, the operation itself, this is kind of adjusting um, different um, distortions or effects um, on the uh, guitar noise itself. Um, but volume up the output here, you can set it to speaker or auxiliary if you're going to have something plugged in the back. It won't let me select auxiliary right now because there's nothing plugged in here. Um, but uh, can turn scale on, which will turn the LEDs on on the neck of the guitar. You can kind of hear some noises now. Um, and that's max volume, which isn't loud, loud enough for you to hear. Um, if I turn it down all the way, you can hear the strings. Turn it up. Push menu to have it go back again. Uh, hide the menu features. These are the effects that I was just referencing. You can turn them on. It's a chorus, echo, reverb, and distortion. Um, and depending on which one you turn on or off, you can then select that feature and adjust the noise. The I mean, excuse me, the effect itself. Uh, distortion. Oh, so the app just came down for me. This is the newest version, so I'm, I'm not sure they're working kinks out still. Okay, let's see uh, if I can get this a little better. Less glare to show you the um, iPhone's already docked. The guitar's on right now. You can see it's um, lit up green. So I just kind of briefly showed the uh, the free play feature, which I'll continue with one more time. Um, but uh, whatever effect you have selected as the adjustable one will show up with a slider here for you to control if it's turned on. Um, I will uh, just show you um, distortion for just for an example for purposes. Turn it on and then we'd also have to select the distortion here uh, to adjust it on this the touchscreen panel, and we can change the uh, drive on the um, x-axis here, and fuzz on the y. And Um, so I'm not an actual guitar player, but I can kind of show you this. And um, there's also a feature here where you can play with the lights on the board itself, the neck of the guitar. You can um, to run through it quickly. Um, if you select the first dot, whatever color is selected, as you move your finger, this represents the neck of the guitar. I'm gonna kind of slide this down so I can show you. Your finger will light up wherever you're touching it, and it just kind of stays like a trail the next larger block here will do the same thing but it lights up um, 
a multiple, I think it may be four blocks at a time as you're doing this. The next one, kind of as you move your finger around the trail, I'll change the color to blue for this one, the trail of your finger stays up, so what you do stays lit up there. And then you can see the C for clear and A for all, and it will light them all up. That kind of cool little thing to play with. You can see a picture on my Twitter account I posted. I tried to spell out GTAR on the neck of the guitar. Uh, so I'll clear it off. And I'll get into quickly uh, now. Uh, we'll go back to the main menu. Menu. Exit. Now back to the main menu. Kind of gives you a feed here of um, people that choose to share whatever song they've played. You can um, share it and it uploads this to the global <coughs> list. I'm logged in on my Facebook account here. But you can see, um, uh, this is a gentleman, Bruno, and it will kind of run through on a slider <clears throat> the progression and what notes he is hitting, or she, whoever is playing. Alright, so, let's see if we can't make this work better here. So, turn the uh, app back on. And I will go to the play feature. I'm kind of up close so you can see the app because this is more of an app review than the the whole guitar itself. But um, keep in mind I'm a novice guitar player. But the, this is the entire song list right now. It's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. Looks like 14 different tracks you can play. You can see um, on it the... Um, scores uh, if I have actually completed it so the first two um, you can see that uh, they're marked uh, Spanish Romance by Artist Anonymous skill level expert and um, the score is 19,600 as you're playing through these um, I will show you the uh, Yankee Doodle um, right now it's a limited list of uh, songs that are on here I think until they can get some licensing buttoned down uh, here's uh, Yankee Doodle. Let me select the song. It's going to ask me right here at the beginning um, display what the song title is and ask me do I want to play easy, medium, or hard and it explains it here. Easy In easy mode you only need to pluck the correct string and correct notes will not be played. Here in medium um, you must pluck the correct string while you're fingering the correct frets and um, it, it doesn't, it mutes out all of your the incorrect um, notes that you would play and on hard um, it doesn't mute anything out, all the notes will be played so you can preview the song if you want or we can go ahead and um, actually play the song so push start, <clears throat> you'll see here the notes starting to come through and just so I can show you down here quickly, slide the guitar down, you can see that the fretboard illuminates to what note I'm supposed to play, so this is going to be a little bit hard, just and it'll change there, so <clears throat> on the app side, as you can see what notes need to be played So I'm playing an expert, so it's not muting anything out. That's letting me play everything, even the incorrect notes. So there you go, the song finished. Uh, you can see that there's a multiplier that goes. It's um, similar if you're a gu guitar hero player on um, on a console. You can kind of, as you, the more correct notes that you, you hit consecutively, the higher your multiplier goes up. And uh, if you end up hitting a an incorrect note, it resets that multiplier back down to a 1x. Um, here you can see I finished the last few notes out correctly, so I ended up with a 3x multiplier as I was accumulating points and with a score of 5,880. Um, but we, we can restart. Uh, at this point I could click share here and then it would go out and anyone that's um, 
connected to the GTAR app. I don't think there's too many people right now, but then you'd be able to share it with them and they could watch um, how you played. I'll share it just for the purposes of the video. Um, we could restart it here and we could do the whole thing again. I'm going to go back to the menu here and quit and we'll go back to that song list. Um, and as you get to more of the expert uh, songs, <laughs> you can see that uh, the let me preview it. It's a lot more than just uh, plucking the strings away. It's going to involve some chords. <clears throat> One of the beautiful things about the guitar when you're playing, I think, in my personal opinion, is the actual um, the neck of the guitar as the LEDs light up to show you which notes need to be played. But the app itself is awesome. Um, obviously, there's not a huge selection of uh, tracks for you to choose from. You can see it just updated there. Uh, here my profile it's gonna actually this is just with the most recent update it will show you um, this is the my actual sessions that I've recorded or the songs that I've played my Facebook profile here um, people that I'm following people following me um, nope, I don't have any friends on Facebook at least that have this um, no option right now for Twitter integration. It'd be nice if I could just shoot a song out to Twitter that's a recorded profile. That would be kind of fun. Yeah, but possibly something for the developers in the future. So there you go, checking to see if the firmware is up to date. And this is the most up to date version. And um, there you go. That, that's pretty much it. So um, again, like a quick run through free play with a menu here. You can choose. Um, to turn the lights on on the neck of the guitar to show the scale. There. Um, your output, if you have something plugged in back in the bass, you could use. So, back in this free play screen, this is where a lot of the features um, that aren't really explained um, or talked about too much and during the Kickstarter campaign um, probably came uh, post development you can choose what type of guitar noise you want so it starts out um, the software starts out with electric which um, see why I can't hear it right now there we go okay so let me go here to instrument and the lineup is in the top it's effects instrument lights and menu so in the instrument with electric guitar selected, I can drop it down to acoustic. I can then change it to rock. And then synthesizer, so there's a droplet synthesizer, and it's really quiet. Uh, switch it up one more time for you. Um, warm, analog, and electric. Square, strings, and stab. So, it, it you know, have fun messing around with it. Uh, but that's pretty much a, a basic run through of the um, the app itself. I'm sorry, my phone screen's dirty, but it's a lot of fun. I've been having a blast with it so far. Is three days in, but um, I would strongly encourage you that if you're interested. Overall, I would recommend the pre-order. You get uh, a high quality piece of. Um, equipment and it's a lot of fun to play.